In Illustrator, one of the easiest things you can do is to add a stroke to an object. You select the object, you click on the stroke box in the color panel, you choose a color, and then you go to the stroke panel and adjust the stroke weight or thickness. But what if you want to add multiple strokes? Can you simply click on another stroke box and make adjustments for this one? Yeah, you wish. No, in this case, you'll need to use the appearance panel. So you might want to check my video about it using the link in the description. But for now, let's go to Window, Appearance to open the appearance panel. You can expand it a little bit. And your object should be selected first. That's very important. So let's select the speech bubble with the selection tool. Now, as you can see, this object already has a yellow stroke. And if I open the stroke panel, you'll see that the stroke weight is 10 points and that it is aligned to the inside. And you can choose the settings you want. You don't have to follow me blindly, use your brain. But let's go back to the appearance panel. And here as well, you'll see our beautiful stroke. The fill is set to nothing, but who cares? Let's click on this button right here to add a new stroke. Yes, here's our second stroke. So let's change its color to red. And nope, the yellow stroke is gone. What is happening? Well, the yellow stroke is not gone. It's just covered by the red stroke. You just put two strokes on top of each other. What do you expect? To fix this, you'll need to offset the red stroke in order to reveal the yellow stroke below this one here. So again, make sure your object is selected, but also make sure that the red stroke is activated here in the appearance panel. You don't want to offset the path, but the stroke. So click to select it and then click here to add a new effect. Go to path, offset path, and set the offset to 10 pixels. I'll set this to miter and the limit to four and click okay. And now we can see both strokes at the same time. Now select the stroke and click on this button to duplicate it and then change the color. But this time, if I click on this arrow, you'll need to click on the offset path effect for this particular stroke and make it 20 pixels. Select the stroke and add one more, make it white, and set its offset to 30 pixels. So now we have one object with multiple strokes. And if you see weird beveled corners like this one, simply open the offset path effect and increase the mitre limit until it's fixed. Do that for all the strokes and you're done, see you later.